Hello everyone, welcome to my app Java X tutorial. Today we're going to create this. Recently, I saw a digital ad called Google Pixel 8 and also I saw a cool looking and minimalistic Google logo animation. It's really really amazing. Thank you Google for inspiring me to create this awesome and cool minimalistic logo animation tutorial. All credit goes to you. Alright, open After Effects, go to the project panel, create a new composition. Change the composition name to me, Render. Preset HDTV with 1920 and high 1080. Change the frame rate to 25 frames per second and also set the duration to 10 seconds longer and click OK. Now let's start creating a background. To do that, right click here, new, choose solid, change the solid name to BG. Make composition size and also change the solid color to something like pale blue and click OK. Now go to the effects and preset, type CC vignette, drag and drop on the solid layer, change the vignette amount to 105 and also change the angle of view to 50. Now let's start creating a logo placeholder. To do that, go to the project panel, again create a new composition. Change the composition name to logo 1. Make as composition size and click OK. I will give you this full project file download link only in my Patreon page. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to follow my Patreon page and my Instagram page also. Alright, now after downloading this project file, you will find this Google logo PNG format. Drag and drop on the logo placeholder. Now you can see a small icon here called a region of interest. Just select that. Crop the composition to something like this. Go to the tab menu. Select composition. Choose crop comp to region of interest. Now go to the main render and also go to the project panel. You will find the logo composition. Drag and drop on the tagline. Before we proceed for the logo animation, first let's start creating a layer blur. To do that, create a new composition, call this layer blur. Make composition size and click OK. Now go to the toolbar menu, select the ellipse tool, draw a shape to something like this. Rename the shape layer to green by pressing enter. Alright bro, now hold control or command D to duplicate the layer three times. And also don't forget to change the layer name to red, yellow, blue, green. Also you can change the shape color from Google logo. Alright, once you've done, now go to the effects and preset, type fast box blur, drag and drop on any shape layer, change the blur radius to 100 and iteration to 2. Copy this effect by pressing Ctrl or Command C and paste it through the other shape layers. I want this shape layer to look like a little bit bright and blue waves. To do that, right click here, new. Adjustment layer. Rename the adjustment layer to glow. Now go to the effects and preset. Type glow. Drag and drop on the adjustment layer. Now change the glow threshold to 65.
and low radius to 600. Now let's give some simple rotation animation for the shape layers. To do that, again right click here, new, choose null object, change the null name to rotation. Now select all four shape layers, parent them to null object. If you don't find this parent link, press F4 to reveal the parent link. Or otherwise, right click here, choose color and enable the parent link. Now select the layer. Press R to open rotation property, create a keyframe, change the rotation amount to minus 180 degrees. Now go forward at one second, change the rotation amount to minus 145 degrees. And again go forward at three second, change the rotation amount to zero. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor, change the graph value to something like this. Hit the space bar button to preview. Now go to the main render, again go to the project panel, drag and drop the layer blur composition on the timeline. Now press F4 to open the drag mat. If you don't find this drag mat, right click here, columns, choose modes. Now select the layer blur, change the drag mat to alpha mat logo. Now select the logo layer, press S to open scale property, reduce the scale amount to 60, or maybe 75 and again select the logo layer hold ctrl or command D to duplicate the layer unhide the layer and bring them down now it's time to give a simple and minimalistic logo animation to do that right click here choose null object rename the null to controls Now select all three composition layers, parallel them to controls. Now select all layers, press F4 to open modes. Select here to activate the 3D and motion blur. Now select the controls layer, press R to open rotation property. Create a keyframe on Y rotation. Again press S to open scale property. Create a keyframe. Again, press U to reveal only keyframes. Now change the scale amount to 0. Again, go forward at 2 seconds. Change the scale amount to 100. And also change the rotation amount to minus 1 degree. Now go forward at 3 seconds 15 frames. And this time I'm going to change only the scale amount to 60. Now select all keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, open the graph editor, change the graph value to something like this. Hit the space bar button review. Now finally go at 2 seconds. Select the layer blur and the logo composition. Press T to open opacity. Create a keyframe. Go forward at 3 seconds. Again create a keyframe. Reduce the opacity amount to 0. Select both keyframes, press F9 to ease the ease, open the graph editor, and as if you you can change the graph value to something like this.
Now finally, let's start creating a simple text animation. To do that, go somewhere like here, right click, add marker. Now go to the toolbar menu, select the icon to create a text. Type any text as you like. I'm going to type Google Pixel 8a. I am using Google font called Pobbins. It's really amazing, one of my favorite font. You can download anywhere in the website. It's absolutely free. Reduce the font size to something like 35. Now setting the text layer, go forward few frames. Press P, Shift, T to open position at opacity property. Create a keyframe. Now come at the marker. Change the opacity amount to zero and also change the white position to something like this. Now select all keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease. Open the graph editor. Change the graph value to something like this. Hit the spacebar button to preview. Oops, I already forgot to give a light sweep effect. To do that, double click on the logo proposition layer. Select the logo. Go to the effects and preset. Type CC light sweep. Drag and drop on the logo. And adjust a few settings. Now change the shape to smooth. Also change the width amount to 100. And sweep intensity to 35. Edge intensity to as same as 50. And edge thickness to something like 2. Now go at 3 seconds. Create a keyframe on center. Again go forward at 4 seconds. Change the center direction to something like this. And finally, hit the space bar button to preview the entire project. I hope you all enjoyed my After Effects tutorial. And also, I am getting very less views and very less support from my YouTube channel. Consider to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow my Patreon page and also my Instagram page. See you on next amazing After Effects tutorial. Stay tuned. Thank you.